Hello everyone and welcome back to the Palafel Packs YouTube channel. My name is Monique Renee and today I'm going to be unboxing the October Petite Palafel Packs box. I'm very excited about this month because this is one of my favorite months of all time. It is October, it's Halloween season, and it's also Inktober. If no one knows what Inktober is, it is a art challenge that spans the entire month of October, and the challenge is for you to draw an ink drawing every single day. So I am really hoping I've got some fun ink supplies in this box, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Ooh. All right, first things first, I am seeing these guys. Oop, hello. <laughs> these look like Marabu alcohol inks. And I have never seen alcohol inks outside of markers before, so I'm very interested to see how these work. Am I going to be painting with them? I'm not sure. Let's, let's keep going. Next thing are some Princeton Art Brush Co. Real Value brushes. I love Princeton paint brushes, so I'm very excited that we've got some more of these. It looks like we've got a round brush, two shaders, and an angle brush, and they are synthetic hair. Next up, we've got these Masterpiece Alcohol Ink Art Panels, double-sided vinyl hardcore substrate. Ooh, these look awesome. They are really, really thick. They are indeed double-sided, and wow, I am very excited. These look like some kind of artboard. They do not bend. Um, I'm really excited to see how this surface will react with these with these inks. Oh my goodness. And the last thing we've got in here is, whoa, what are you? Legion, we are paper. That is totally not ominous. It looks like we've got, oh, ooh. This is like a really smooth paper surface. Ooh, wow, what does the cover say? Synthetic tree-free paper is everlasting and non-absorbent. It resists buckling with wet media and can be wiped clean. Pigments will retain true clarity and brightness, a new way for techniques to flourish. This is Upo Medium. Wow. I have never seen a paper like this before. I'm not even sure if calling it paper is accurate. This is very interesting. I am so excited to use both of these surfaces and see how these guys will react to it. Another interesting thing is that we actually don't have a black ink. And normally with Inktober, a lot of people use just straight black ink. And we've got the primary colors here. So I'm really excited to mix these and see what kind of interesting, colorful ink washes I can come up with. It looks like we've got a clear one as well to kind of maybe dilute. I'm not exactly sure. I've never ever seen anything like these before. I'm very excited to just play around and see what kind of fun things we can do with these. So let's start swatching. All right, so I've got my incredibly dirty palette here. Please do not judge me. And these little toppers just came right off the ink. So I guess I'm going to just squeeze, maybe squeeze. All right, I'm a big dummy because right on here, it says that you lift up this guy and then you have, you need like a push pin thingamabobber to push it open. So I'll be right back and I'm gonna do that. Now that all these are open, I'm going to, oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, <gasps> whoa. Okay, you guys probably can't see that, but when I dropped this guy into my palette, it is just full of sparkles. <gasps> that is so pretty. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take one of these guys and just like brush the sparkle. <gasps> oh my gosh. You guys probably can't see that, but oh my goodness. It is so sparkly. That is so beautiful. It's basically just like sparkles in an alcohol solution. And you know what? I bet there's more. Now that I see it, there's some like on the bottom. So I'm going to shake. And now let's try it again. Oh, <gasps> whoa. Okay. Wow. Wowie, wow, wow, wow. Can you guys? Oh my God. <gasps> 
It's so sparkly. Okay, that is so the opposite of what I was expecting. Okay, that's definitely pick. Do you guys see that? <gasps> wow. Okay, that's fun. All right. Okay, these are pretty much already dry. So I'm quickly finding out. These are very fast drying. So maybe I'll just... Boop. Let's see. All right, I'm wondering if I should use these with water. I have a cup of water right here. No. <laughs> the answer was no. So maybe I should kind of use the rainbowy mix to oh there we go okay okay all right let's try to activate some of this blue it still has some of the pink on it for sure so let me do that again and then some of that okay there we go if I just like, ooh, and what if I just directly, wow, okay, okay, let's take some of our yellow, add some of you, and some more you, ooh, hello, ooh, she's bright. This guy's dry, so let's see what layering some blue on top will look like. So they do react, is that reactivating? Most definitely. I wonder if I, boop, and boop. Ooh. Hello. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty. Wow. Okay. Let's mix blue and yellow. Oh, that is so pretty. <gasps> oh, I love that. These mix so beautifully. Oh man, look at that, look at that. Oh my god. <gasps> ah, I love that! Ah! Guys, look at that color. Look at that beautiful color. <gasps> oh, and everything is so shimmery. <gasps> oh, I'm in love. All right, so now we've seen how that guy reacts. Let's try this surface now. So let's drop some of that. Oh wow. That literally just like glides. Whoa. You can really see different brush strokes in this one, especially compared to this surface. So that's really interesting. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh wow, hello. <gasps> Whoa! Do you guys see that? Do you see how that's reacting? Whoa, I almost don't want, you know, I'm actually gonna leave that and see if that dries like that. And then we'll play around a little bit more over here. Over here on this surface, the colors lifted up pretty easily. So let's see if there's any lifting that happens over on this guy. And yes, there is. Wow, I think this one actually lifts up way more than this one does, <clears throat> which is a bit shocking to me. Super interesting. I wonder if I just like take it and like, let's see how that dries. Well, bam. Oh man. Do you guys see that gorgeous color? 
Oh, we can make, okay. I automatically know exactly what I want to do on one of these. I want to do a galaxy. And honestly, I just want to splash a bunch of these inks all over and see what awesome like textures and colors I can come up with. So I think I'm going to do that right now, actually. All right, so I realized that I hadn't taken a look at the product card for this box yet after I totally made a mess. So um, I went in totally blind. Now I'm going to go back and read more information about these products. And I've also got the prompt list for Inktober here as well. So I'm going to read more about these and see if I can incorporate the prompt for today. Today is the second, which is mindless. So I'm going to see if I can incorporate that into an actual finished piece. So the first thing we've got up are these Marabou alcohol inks. We've got three colors plus the rainbow additive. It says, create stunning works of art on a variety of surfaces with vibrant and versatile alcohol inks. Use the range of colors on their own or blend the tie dye or the or blend the dye-based inks together for infinitely creative possibilities. The uniquely magical rainbow color additive gives any color a mesmerizing shimmer effect. That is 100% absolutely true. The inks are fast drying, permanent, and acid free. And then it just gives some directions on how to open the bottles, which could have been helpful if I read that first, but you know, I gotta do things the hard way. <laughs> Another thing it says here that I think I should mention as well, some sites suggest spray bottles, but do not use in spray bottles as inks contain alcohol, which should not be airborne. So just keep that in mind. Please don't put these in spray bottles like you would with water-based inks. The next thing we have are these Masterpiece Alcohol Ink Panels. These are size five by five, and we've got three of them. They are a non-porous double vinyl substrate designed specifically for alcohol inks, but they can be used for acrylics and other multimedia applications. Vinyl is mounted to both sides of an MDF board with a pH neutral glue so you can paint both sides and display which side you like best or create a hanging mobile type display. Very cool. The vinyl has a light texture which provides more control over the painting process and it produces a pearlescent shimmer to the artwork. The vinyl surface is an impervious moisture barrier that resists warping and extends the open time of alcohol inks. Alcohol ink will float and lift off the surface while wet. The next thing we have is this Yupo paper pad, size 5x7. This white synthetic paper is made of 100%, oh my god, polypropylene, I hope that is how you pronounce that, um, offers a unique alternative to traditional papers. Pigments applied to bright white sheets retain their true clarity and brilliance. Waterproof and stain resistant, it is exceptionally strong, true, durable, true, and will not buckle or tear, also true. It is acid-free, archival, and has a smooth, bright white surface. Originally used for offset painting, it also accommodates pen and ink drawing, acrylic painting, and aqueous techniques. I think that means water-based. Yupo is machine-made in the USA and recyclable. Super cool. All right, I don't have that much of a plan. I'm pretty much just going to start splashing these all over the place. I'm gonna mix this one up first so it gets nice and sparkly. And I'm just going to start squirting this all over the place. And now I'm going to squirt blue over here. Let's do some pink over here. And I'm just going to start. <laughs> ah, this is so fun. Oh my gosh. Let's add a little bit more blue. Oh, wow. Let's, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Let's add some more of the medium over here. And have it, oh, oh my gosh. Ah, what is this? Over here, more pink. I honestly feel like a kid right now. I feel like a child just playing with an absurd amount of art supplies. And I just, <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> Let's add a little bit of yellow in here. Oh yes. Let's add some blue on top of that. More blue over here. More pink over here. I 
I like the look of it without any kind of brush strokes more, I think. So I'm just gonna wet down all of it and just, just drop a bunch, a bunch of colors. Cause you know what, why not? It looks so dang cool. We're just gonna, we're just gonna make a huge mess because we're artists and that's <laughs> what we do. Uh, whoa. Oh, that looks so dang cool. Whoa. I almost feel like I'm doing an acrylic pour. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna let that dry for a little while uh, and come back to it and see if we can maybe do something on top of it. And I'm also gonna wash my hands because they got, they got a little messy. <laughs> All right, so I also wanted to try sort of the same idea, but making it fit in with the style of art that I normally do. So I started off by splashing a bunch of just isopropyl alcohol onto the canvas board, and then I went in with the alcohol inks and just dropped a bunch of them on like I did before. Then I also went in with the shimmery, sparkly solution because I love it, and I wanted this whole thing to be just as sparkly as the other one was. And then I went in and just started mixing the colors with the brush. I do love how the colors kind of mix on their own, but if you use the brush, they just mix a bit more extremely, I guess. And it really just helps kind of get those moving along. Plus when you use the brush and you create these different brush strokes, they look a little bit rough in the beginning, but as the solution and the ink kind of like set and melt together, they create these really beautiful textures and colors and they just kind of like mix with each other as they settle down. And I absolutely love that. Then after that, I just went on top with more of the alcohol ink and just kind of like splashed a little few drops on top. And this reacts in a whole different way and creates even more interesting textures and colors. And it just, oh, look how cool that looks, guys. That just looks so, oh, I love it. Honestly, I could have left it at this and also still been happy with it because I think this looks really dope as well. Then once that was dry, I actually went in with a fine liner. Because it is Inktober, I'm doing a lot of work with fine liners and I absolutely love working with really, really small, delicate lines. So I decided to try to bring that over into this medium too. I ended up loving how this looks. I thought the black lines look so cool against the vibrant colors. I will say a quick word of caution. All I had were water-based pens, and because of that, they smudged on both surfaces pretty severely. This surface was a lot more forgiving than the other one, but if you want to use maybe black fine liners or any kind of pen on top of this, I would highly recommend finding some that are alcohol ink based and not water ink based. If you do use some that are water based, I would suggest being very, very careful with the lines and then spraying the whole thing with some kind of fixative afterwards so that the lines don't go anywhere. Drawing on the surface with a pen was also very, very nice. I like it when there's a little bit of tooth to hold on to the pen, and that's exactly what this was, and I just think the lines look really, really beautiful on it. It was also really, really fun. The surface was smooth enough to where the pen wasn't catching, but like I said, it does have that tooth, so it wasn't like I didn't have any control over the pen at all. 
Then what I did was I mixed some ink in a little palette and I mixed a purple color and then brushed it on top of the ink strokes. Now, because the pen was water-based and I mixed it with the alcohol, the lines dissolved pretty quickly, but I actually really loved how it ended up looking. It made the ink much darker than I could get uh, just by the inks alone. And I think the effect just turned out really, really cool. It is pretty striking against the bright background, again, because it is that dark color mixed with the black. And I just think it looks really cool. So I'm very excited to dedicate more time to this technique and see what other kind of interesting things I can come up with. I will absolutely be using these inks again, especially because a lot of the work I'm doing for Inktober is full of lots of heavy ink and black and white work. So it'll be really nice to have these super fun bright inks to kind of break up the monotony of working in black and white. So thank you, Palette Packs, for, <laughs> for including these. All right, this has been another amazing box from Palette Packs. I am astounded by how much fun I had with all of these supplies. I do want to quickly say how cool it is that these are very unusual Inktober supplies. I 100% expected to get a bunch of pens, maybe some India ink, and I am blown away by these. They are so much fun, so different from any other Inktober supplies I've ever gotten from an Inktober box. And I'm just so grateful that I can bring some color into my Inktober and really make my pieces stand out. Thank you, Palletful Packs, for another amazing box. If you would like to join us and make some amazing, colorful Inktober pieces yourself, please check the info link in the description box below to get your own Palletful Packs box. Also, if you are participating in Inktober and have a Palletful Packs box, please tag us, use our hashtag Palletful Packs, in all of your social media posts so we can see what you guys are doing too. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next month for another demo. Bye guys!